In this video, we're going to take a look at my home lower body conditioning circuit that I used during lockdown. A few of these exercises are gymnastics specific, but many of them have been adapted from traditional strength training to support my gymnastics goals. The most important thing for me to focus on when I'm training legs is technique, increasing my explosive power and building strong foundations that will prevent injury. The first exercise is leg changes and you can see I've added a little extra weight. I'm really trying to go through the full range of movement and keep my feet, knees and hips aligned. The most important part for me is the final push through my calf at the top of each leg change. I'm aiming for between 20 and 30 repetitions on each side. Double leg rebound jumps holding a 5 kilo weight. Now this was potentially the most specific exercise I'd throw out of the lockdown. The idea was to try and load my back and replicate tumbling on the floor apparatus. Since returning to the gym my back has been a little sore, so whether or not this concept has worked I guess time will tell. Regardless it's great for working on your explosive power. Box jumps are a great way to work on your ability to produce force at speed. You'll see that I don't swing my arms, which makes sure I use the correct muscles and not the momentum of the arm swing to jump. I'm focusing on form and making sure that my knees are aligned when I land. I've been doing sets of 10 reps on this one throughout the lockdown. Calf raises have been a really important skill for me following a series of ankle injuries in recent years. I have added some weight and aimed for 10 reps in the straight leg position and 5 in that bent knee position. Always trying to work through the full range of movement on this one. Single leg hops are a vital part of my weekly routine. I have to work really hard on plyometrics following my ankle surgery back in 2014 after the Commonwealth Games. The reason I do these is that it isolates each leg and the main aim is to reduce my contact time with the floor as much as possible. I'm going for height and distance but focusing on ankle stability at the same time. Single leg support squats are a tough exercise. I don't think they got any easier during the lockdown. I'm making sure I'm using the correct lower body muscles and not my back when doing this one. I struggle with ankle range so sometimes I have to lift my heel off the floor for both these and pistol squats. Reps wise I'm looking for around 15 on each side. I've never spent too much time skipping before but I'm really impressed with how helpful it's been for me. It gives me another opportunity to load my back and replicate that gymnastics tumbling. Great for cardio and also working on my breath control which is very important during a 70 second routine on the apparatus. The only downside to skipping for me has been the impact on my calf muscles and tightness. Definitely an exercise I'll continue to use now I'm back in the gym. I did sets of up to 3 minutes throughout the whole of the lockdown. Heel sprinting is something I've tried for the first time during lockdown. I fractured both of my ankles in December after a bad landing from a trampoline. Initially, I wasn't able to run on the flat ground as I didn't have the range yet in my ankles. For around five weeks, I just did heel sprints, which solved the ankle range issues. Technique and form are what I'm really concentrating on. My target was always to aim for a set of five sprints and keep my speed consistent. Hopefully this work will pay off once I'm back in the gym and I'm training on the vault again. I hope you've enjoyed my home training lower body conditioning circuit. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.